Okay. Hey everybody. Ohio Gaming here. What the fuck? <laughs> this is take two. First of all, I couldn't sign in. <laughs> I think that's why it did it the first time. Second of all, what the fuck, man? I'm trying to do a video here, and you're just like, Oh, get the did you return the main, main screen, and it just, it just went to episode one. And I'm like, okay, I want to exit the game and try to reload. No, it just exited the whole freaking game without, without... I thought it meant exit the episode and return me to the main menu. What the fuck? So, let's try this again. Work? Does it work? Please work. Please? Please work? Please don't freeze? Please work? Please work? Work? Let's see if it... Okay. Maybe it just takes a while. I don't know. I'm going to shut up during this. You know the drill. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here, Clem. Want some... Uh, batteries? I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah. Why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine, yes. I have to find a nerve. We all go. Who's with me? Look for Clementine. Oh, yeah. A friend would I be if I you now? Clementine. Ugh. <sighs> You know, let's try and uh, finish the story. And then once this episode complete, we'll put every episode. So you have this in all the episodes. Vernon, get out of here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. <coughs> Clementine, right. We're Vernon, you son of a... Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. Fuck! I don't know who you are, but I will. Do you understand? I know you will. Say goodbye. Goodbye. You lay a finger on Clementine. I swear to God, I will kill you. I'm gonna kill you anyway. If you lay a finger on her, you'll be dead. Worse. We'll get her back. That feeling. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have... You seriously don't have much time now. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Let's see what's... Use a gun. Why not, man? Got everything, you know. For Clementine, man. <sighs> Let's try and see if we can find anything to get the, get those doors to. Open. Ooh, this will help. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Open up that door, man. Open up that door. Open it up. 
I'll have these two seconds. Open that bitch up. Oh damn. Getting weaker, my boys. You're not cutting off my arm. I gotta do it. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do Kenny, it won't works? help. We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. It is what it is. Then the rest of us go after Clementine? and get the hell out of Savannah. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? No. We leave it. Right? Yeah. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the best limb. I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? Unfortunately, guys, I've seen both endings, and it don't end good for our friendly and if you don't know I'll keep it a secret but all I'm saying is it don't it don't end good guys <laughs> nothing I mean you know Let's open this bitch up and let's go save our buddy Clementine. Our child Clementine, because you know, even though we wasn't her daddy, All right. up we go. I think she to go as quiet as saw possible. us as one. And, see and I seen the details. fourth season, the last season of Sounds The Walking good. Dead, the series finale for Telltale. It looks pretty good. I seen it today, and it looks pretty good, and it looks it's gonna be a killer I season. I know that much. God, laggy as fuck. Ah! What the fuck happened? Maybe a zombie fell. That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Just fucking peachy. I <laughs> love how it's fucking slowing down. I know that's not like in the game, like, but it's probably the zombies and stuff in the emulation. Damn! Lee! Lee! Oh god! Are you alive? Get up! You got this, man. I'm gonna fall! Shit. Fuck, dear. You have to pull yourself up. You got it, Lee. Come on. You can... Good job. If I was bitten, guys, I would chop my arm off to see it would help. But I think, you know, in this situation, Lee's gonna die either way. Oh, I hope not. But you know, since we chose to leave the bite, he's gonna die. But... If you haven't played the game yet. He dies either way, guys. You know, if you chop his arm off, he he dies, or it happens either way. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. 
if you've seen the season two let's play you know remember when it was empty bastards the one thing right I guess must be things of them they didn't follow us here hey eh? it sure seems like it that's crazy track wrong it's out there somewhere Gobble or that. Darling, we'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and set a way to make it across. Good? Good. Uh, just happened to Lee. Bite. Just have to deal with it. That'll let us know if you start feeling. I know. Just dizziness, that's all. I'm all. Good. As good as you can be. Good as I can be. Now what? And. Well out there. Right, pal? Now, let's... Can you over here? Extension. Yeah, it's useful. Probably be useful for something, Lee. Hermede. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. That could help. I want to talk to Kenny. To cross the street from River Street. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said. We didn't overlook. Yeah. I'd have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the middle. Thousands of them. It'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Kenny. Kenny. Kenny! Hey, Kenny. How you doing, Kenny? What's it? Looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me I'm not gonna want to. Here. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. Kenny. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh, I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. <coughs> going on? That's just everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be bad. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are, right now, and I can't imagine Cat and Duck in all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. No, you're not. But, you know. We'll see that in season two. He wasn't okay. Still, he was still a fucking mess. <laughs> the bells. <laughs> yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think I should be the one? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. 
What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Oh, oh, oh. Hurry. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ah! Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Try to Not find at all. another way there. It's locked. The exit in here. Down the rope. Dumbasses. It makes noises. Ding, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong. Yeah, I'm sorry that, uh... They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Yeah, I'm sorry that uh, I started late. It was due to my account fucking up and saying I wasn't connected and all this other shit. Um, I'll try to not let that happen again, but I can't promise you anything. <laughs> okay, Lee, we're gonna have to jump I for I think it. I have to jump. There's no yeah. way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. I'm so fucked. Come on, Lee, you got this. Ooh. Got it! Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof! Let's go, let's go, let's rock and roll. It's so fucking cold in my room right now, guys. <laughs> Holy... What the fuck? But it's gone. Come on! Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone! Holy shit, they're gone. Relax. Hey, guys. No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids?! Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but, yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We're all going to. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us! He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! No, at least not gonna live to. <laughs> oh, me, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. 
Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now without a boat? Well, I know you two are just we gonna look stay? out for one and number two. You know yourselves. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah, we got to get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so. With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! Oh, my God, it sounded like he was having sex. <laughs> they shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Damn it. Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi. What is it? Go now! Front hallway! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there. Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. God. Damn it. Sturdy my ass. Get upstairs. Go. Guys, help me with this. Oh, come on! Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This will slow them down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Y'all know where to aim. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial oh, need. Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. 
I thought it was I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just... Get your ass together. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get her. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing <laughs> a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. So do you get this guy? What do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I 
I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy, I yeah, fucking kill him. Do whatever it takes. And you know, whatever happens to you. Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. Damn. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... I forgot about this. Tight. seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed.
Right out the door. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay <laughs> off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? No, I don't think they ever learned. Could, uh, I could be wrong. It's good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not. But I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. Ah, oh, you got it. Don't look down, damn it. River Street's just up ahead. Of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Let's get off of here now. Yep, that. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. Uh. Oh, fuck. Uh. Well, I'm so sorry. Leave it. We don't need it. We're gonna beat on this guy. Yeah, I agree. And when we don't, and when we don't know where to begin to look, any clue, even the smallest one, is invaluable. We need that thing. Fuck, I'm sorry. Let's think this through. I just did. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck, we can't reach. Find something, fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Grab onto this! We'll pull you up! Good. Thanks. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. Ken, what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! You said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! <sighs> I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Do you fucking hear me? Where... where did 
go? Maybe, maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... He's alright. He appeared in season two. He ran. Ran like hell. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? say we need to stay focused on what we're doing i know we can't just take a minute but you're not a machine this is a shitty time but i want to make sure we're clear before we go forward what is it? now with kenny gone means omid and i have to stay safe for her You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I don't know what you mean. You mean you know why Kenny did that, right? I was in trouble. Sure. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. You got this, Lee. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Damn it. Shit. Oh, fuck. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you going to do? I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way.
Damn. Hey, motherfucker, we're coming after your ass. Got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. Go over there. Drop the gun. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. 
Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? It doesn't matter. If you say so. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? I look kind of creepy. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us! That's not the whole story. The whole story?! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I'm sorry! I hear that. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. <laughs> You're fucking psycho. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey, I think this is all going to work out. What are you? I'm glad too. I 
I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Good job, Clem. Smell good. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. stuff I had to get through a bunch of them to get here that's how we'll get out of Savannah <laughs> casually with a butcher knife Get 
get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. Aww. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. Then don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. Something tells me we're not going to get this without being noticed. Wake up! Please don't be dead! Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I, I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents! Come here, sweet pea. They're dead! They really are! fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! <laughs> See? Clementine, honey. be a zombie or any firmer that I think there might be a way out over there good good girl let's go I might be 
be a little slow. Oh. I'll help you. <clears throat> I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. It was hard. I don't know how you did, but you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. There's a chair over there. There's a chair over there. Keep pulling. It might give. <clears throat> that window. Just regular glass. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, I'm safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't. I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you 
is safe. You only have to deal with one. He's trapped over there. You can afford what you need from him. The keys, and then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. I see this. Myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. No, it's you. Me too. <sighs> oh. 
<laughs> damn it. Oh. We need a minute. Oh. Oh my god. That scene fucking always gets me. God, like I said, guys, Oh my god, I need a minute, guys. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna stop it right there. Oh, well, I gotta let it play because there was something at the end of it. This game... This series was the best series I've ever played in the Walking Dead games. In any Telltale game. It's right next up to The Wolf Among Us. They're going on season four and it'll be the last season. But if I had to pick a season, from season one to season three. Season one had to be the most heart wrenching because of Lee's death. And no matter what choice you chose to either cut the arm or not, he would have still turned. Which sucks. But. Gumtoyne in the second season was a badass and she saved Kenny. We didn't see them in season three, but we might see him in season four. Hopefully he's still alive. When the higher hills have turned to blue and the waves are lapping where I hope nothing happened to him. I hope we see a lot of characters that we've seen in season one since oh, it's, it's, this is the last hurrah. We should see Molly. And, you know, hopefully Krista makes a return. Kenny. 
Okay. Ami died in the second season, so we won't see him, of course. Just the Basically, almost every character in the game died doing something that was like purposed. I don't know, you know, I think Clem finds AJ, but I think it does some aging in, in, in the game itself. Of course it would. But by far, this was the most heart-wrenching. Of course, there's that ending scene in Season 2 where Clem has to choose between Kenny and that one girl. And, um, of course, I chose, you know, save Kenny. Because they both lost their fucking mind. But hang on, there's a scene right here. I don't know if I was Chris and Omid, but a lot of people said it was. I don't know if I was a walker, but it probably was Chris and Omid. At that point, I thought Clementine was just going to go on her own and meet up with him, but no. It wasn't. It was. She didn't go on her way. I'm probably going to get copyrighted for that music. It's alright. But no, guys. That was The Walking Dead Season 1. And I'm glad I played it for you. Like I said, I won't be doing any of the DLC. So that will be left untouched. With Season 4 approaching... It was only fair that I did the first season and so I would have it on my channel. Like I said, I will put this, as soon as this video gets update, uploaded, I will put every season of The Walking Dead in one playlist so you guys don't have to search around. They'll still have their single playlist so you guys can watch it. If you want to go to each playlist, but for easier for you guys, I'll put it in a single playlist. And I'll put it on the feature of my channel so you guys don't have to search through the playlist. Of course, it'll probably be the number one playlist um, that shows. But We're doing other Let's Plays too, and that could shift around a little bit. Um, tomorrow, uh, we'll do some Mafia, since I didn't do one this Monday, we're going to do it tomorrow. Uh, Last of Us, probably be Friday, Saturday, it's hard to tell. But I love you guys to death. And um, click like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And as always, keep gaming. Peace.